Jonah found himself in the pit, he in the, in the belly of the fish for three days. The fish had swallowed him up. But I believe this. I believe it was no accident that Jonah ended up in that fish. I believe that God orchestrated that fish to be there at that time to swallow him up. But I also know that God had already worked it out in his life. I'm trying to tell you, you may be in the pit today, but God has orchestrated things. He's already worked it out. Jesus died on an old rugged cross, but after three days, he rose from the dead. What I'm saying is it's no accident that you're going through what you're going through, but I want you to know that God has already worked it out. Would you tell two people God has already worked it out? He's already worked it out. Whether it's good or it's bad, you have to believe that God has worked it out. No devil can stop God's plan for your life. Even in the middle of your famine, I believe that God has ordered your steps and it's not going to be long and that drought is going to be broken in your life because everything that you've gone through in the past has been about bringing you to this point in your life. It's no accident that you've been through the trials in the tribulations in the past. All of these difficulties are to bring you forward. I'm moving forward. I'm not looking back. I, everything has been about bringing you forward. If you stumble, do you know that you always stumble going forward? You don't stumble backwards normally. You stumble going forward. And the point I'm trying to make is I declare unto you that all of your stumbles is going to take you forward and that God is going to work it for your good and God is going to bring you forward, not backward in your life. How many have ever stumbled in the past? You got air in your lungs. I'm preaching to you. Maybe you've fallen down in life, and maybe life hasn't been fair, but the word says what the devil meant for harm, God meant it for good. God meant, even though bad stuff has happened, God meant it to take you forward. He meant it to get you to change your mind. He meant it to get you to change directions in your life because all things work together for the good of those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And since I love him and since I'm living for his purpose, then all things are going to work for my good. Sometimes you have to be willing to go through some trouble so you can have what God has for you today. Sometimes you have to be willing to serve the Lord with gladness, believing that he'll work it out in the future. Sometimes you just got to put a smile on your face when you don't feel a smile. How many know what I'm talking about? And you got to believe that somehow he's working it out. Do you feel me in here today? Ruth was very discouraged because she lost her husband. Naomi said to her, Naomi said, wash your face, girl. In other words, start washing off your past. Start believing God for change. Start using your faith. Get your faith out there. Whatever happened in the past, that was then, but this is now. Start believing God to move forward in your life. Get that depression off of you. Begin to cheer up saying, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Wash those critical attitudes off. Naomi said, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. That was bitterness. This was, this was uh, Naomi's way of saying, I got to get this bitterness out of me. I got to get this thing off of me if I'm going to move forward in my life. Sometimes life will leave you bitter if you don't do something about it. She was telling her to get prepared for, for miracles. Get prepared for, for, to, to go forward. That's a word for you today. It's a word for somebody. I'm telling you, wash your face. Get the bitterness out of your life. You can't go forward until you release the pain and deal with that stuff in your life. I believe that God is bringing new beginnings into your life. Would you, sh would you shout real loud, new beginnings? You see, you're not ready for your miracle until you've washed your face. You're not ready for that new man until you've washed your face.